So you want to be able to concatenate values together in Microsoft Excel. We'll dive straight in with this example. I want to join first and last names. Several ways you can do this. I'm going to start off by typing equals into the cell, and then I'm going to click into the first name cell. And then I'm going to use the ampersand symbol. I want to join the first name with a space, and a space is a text value, so it has to go in quotation marks. And then I use another ampersand symbol, and I then select the last name. And if I press enter, it joins the two values together. So that's one way of achieving the concatenation. Another way would be to use the concatenation function. Now, there is actually a new version of the concatenate function called concat. I'll show you both. You'll see here that this is now a legacy function. But all I would do here is I point at the first cell that I want to concatenate, comma, and then I want a space. So again, I'd put that in quotation marks, type another comma, and then I click in the last name cell. And then if I copy that down, it will concatenate the values. Now the new function is called concat, and it does much the same thing. I would select the first name, comma, then a space in quotation marks, then another comma, and then the last name. I can copy that down. So there we are. So three ways of concatenating those values together. Now with concat, you can also select a range of cells to join together, which you couldn't do with concatenate. So for example, if I want to join these names together in one cell, I would just select that range, close the bracket, press enter, and it would join those names together. Now, if it was me, I'd want to separate the names with a comma and a space, for example. And to do that, you wouldn't use concat, you'd use a function called text join, which is really useful. So the first argument here is delimiter. So what do you want to separate these names by? Well, you put it in quotation marks, and I'm going to say that's a comma and a space. Then the second argument is ignore empty. So I want to ignore these empty cells. So I'm going to say true. And that is in fact the default. So I can just type another comma. And then I just select the names or the cells that I want to concatenate together. I press enter. It will join the names together separated by a comma and a space. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.